Three supervisors have voted unanimously to oppose future placements of sexually violent predators in our county until the state gives the county a say in where these people are placed. Supervisors are now asking the state for veto power over future placements. Here to talk more about this is County Supervisor Jim Desmond, who was behind this proposal. First of all, County Supervisor Desmond, I'm glad you're here right on the floor. Well, thank you very much, Heather. It's great to be here. So talk a little bit about what you propose and exactly what uh, all of the other supervisors have agreed to and what you're ultimately going to be presenting to the state. Well, it basically, you, you said it, that the uh, county is going to take an official position of oppose to any new future uh, sexually violent predators in San Diego County until we are part of the process and we get the uh, veto power. And then also to direct our, our chief administrative officer to send letters to the departments of uh, state hospitals and any other agencies uh, necessary to let them know about this position that, you know, we want to be part of the process, but we also want to have veto power over any potential site uh, that may be, you know, selected in San Diego County. And uh, peeling back the layers on exactly how this process works, really, Mr. Desmond, does the change need to be made at the state level in order to trickle down and so local counties are not constantly dealing with this? Absolutely. I mean, that's it. Because right now the state uh, contracts with a, uh, a contractor that does the placement. They're called uh, Liberty Healthcare. And so the state contracts with them, they go out and find a site, and basically the, the, the sexually violent predators go back to the county where they came from. And so right now we've got five here in San Diego County and three more pending. So Liberty Healthcare goes out and finds sites for, for, these places, uh, for these people, for these violent predators. And then we get a notice about you know, 60 days prior that, hey, here's the site, here's when, and here's when the hearing is gonna happen. And the general public only gets about a 30 day warning as to the site and then a hearing right. where a judge then decides if this site is, is worthy or not. So the only thing that the county has been asked to do is, is uh, to help quell any resistance. Well, I want to be part of that resistance and, and uh, tell, you know, we do not want these sexually violent predators in our neighborhoods. I mean, all of a sudden, even if they never, you know, you know, uh, do that act again, yeah. ever again in their lives. If they're in a neighborhood, the new neighbors are going to be the victims of this person. Yeah, and the fact are, that, you know, yeah. are they going to let their kids go out and play? Are you going to take walks in the night? I'm, Knowing I'm, that a sexually violent predator, the, the worst of the worst, is living in your neighborhood is terrifying. And I don't want to put one next to me. I'm not going to put one next to you. Yeah, understandable. And I think all of the supervisors, in fact, most of the county residents are certainly backing you on all of that. What happened to the idea, Mr. Desmond, of putting these predators on prison grounds in trailers? Is that uh, gone now? Do we not do that anymore? I think that should still be an option. I think they should stay in the state hospitals. I think that, you know, the, they should stay in state custody. You know, sort of. It's, this is sort of what we're going after, sort of like like Chelsea's law, where after you know the, the uh, murder of, of Chelsea uh, King, you know uh, the state put forward lot stri stricter penalties, longer sentences for these types of people. I want the same thing to happen for these sexually violent predators. I mean, it's bad enough having sexual predators that live amongst us. These sexually violent predators are, are you know shouldn't even be out and let let back into our neighborhoods, in my opinion. All right, well, we'll see how the state responds to all of this. And again, legislation has to change on the state level in order for counties not to be constantly plagued with this problem. County Supervisor Jim Desmond, uh, thank you for what you're doing in regards to this issue. Do appreciate it. Thanks, Heather.